The Biden administration is pushing back on a federal judge's decision to potentially block a commonly used abortion pill. More on two competing rulings that could end up at the U.S. Supreme Court. And as terror season officially begins in downtown Madison as the iconic sunburst chairs return to the Memorial Union Terrace. This is News 3 Now at noon. Good afternoon, I'm Mark Kane. Thanks for tuning in. New at noon, a man was arrested in Grant County for allegedly crashing into an ambulance. It happened on Highway 80 near Hillside Cemetery Road in Platteville early Sunday morning. No injuries reported. Deputies say a 22-year-old Platteville man was traveling north when he crosses the center line and crashes into the ambulance head-on. No patients were on board. The man was taken into custody on suspicion of operating while under the influence. Also new, the Wisconsin State Patrol is now hiring troopers and inspectors. Candidates must pass physical readiness tests, a background investigation, interviews, and pre-employment medical psychological exams. Applicants must have a two-year associate degree or a minimum of 60 college-level credits. To learn more or sign up for info sessions, look for this story on channel3000.com. And a sure sign of spring this week, the sunburst tables and chairs return to the Memorial Union Terrace. A total of 2,000 chairs and more than 400 tables will return to the terrace this year. The terrace will feature free film showings, live music, art activities, outdoor recreation equipment rentals, and seasonal restaurants. Beautiful week to be out on the terrace. Greg Barthard's over in the Weather Center. Great day to sit outside and soak up some sun. Yeah, it's going to be a great week, actually. Just not today, but tomorrow, but all the way through Friday. Right now, we're sitting at the mid-60s, 68 in Lone Rock to 65 in Madison, 69 all the way up north in Black River Falls. So we're getting the southwest winds. Everything, everyone should probably reach their first, at least first 70-degree day today, and that's just the start of things. Right now, we're about 3 to 5 degrees warmer than what we were yesterday, and that'll be the trend even through tomorrow. We had a little bit of cloud cover come through, but all the precipitation even associated with that didn't even match to anything. You got a few down in Iowa. Everything else is good in three. There's your cloud covers beginning to push eastward, so we should have mostly sunny skies this afternoon. A little bit of cirrus passing through, but overall plenty of sunshine here to go. And those temperatures, once again, they should climb up into about 70 this afternoon and then hover around into the upper 60s with that light southwest wind. Even through 8 p.m., we're still in the mid to upper 60s, so it should be a very nice night all the way to midnight until we finally get below that 60 degree mark. But what's ahead? We got maybe some record warmth coming. We got a pattern change probably by next weekend, so unfortunately this won't last too long. And then I'll update you on some river status as all that snow up begins to melt up to the north. All right, we'll check back in a few minutes, Greg. Thank you. China launched a new round of military exercises overnight aimed toward Taiwan. Dozens of warplanes buzzed Taiwan's airspace, simulating a potential attack to seize the island. It follows a visit by Taiwan's president to the U.S. where she met with congressional leaders. The streets in Taiwan were normal this morning, with many there saying they can't constantly be worried about the growing threat. The Biden administration says it will appeal a conservative Texas judge's ruling that suspends FDA approval of the abortion pill Mifepristone. The judge ruled the FDA improperly approved the drug 23 years ago, ignoring legitimate safety concerns. The FDA says its procedures follow scientific process and serious side effects are very rare. Just after the Texas ruling, a federal judge in Washington blocked any changes to Mifepristone's uh, availability in 17 states and the District of Columbia where Democrats sued. If a judge decides to substitute his preference, his personal opinion, for that of scientists and medical professionals, what drug isn't subject to some kind of legal challenge? So we have to go to court. We think that the judge totally got it right. The FDA has to go back. It has to be transparent with the public about the studies that it relied on to make its decisions, and it's got to follow the science. The conflicting ruling set this case for a potential fast track to the Supreme Court where nationwide access to the drug could be on the line. Tax day is about a week away and many Americans this year are seeing lower than usual tax refunds. The IRS is reporting that the average refund amounts to 11% less than in years prior. The dip in refund amounts is primarily due to the end of pandemic era tax credits. The big change, of course, is the lowering of the child tax credit. And, of course, there's no more gift like we got last year, which was like a big $1,400 to a lot of people. If you haven't done your taxes yet, there is still time up until tax day, which is next Tuesday, April 18th.
There's more to come on Newsstreet Now at noon, including a look at the International Monetary Fund Spring Meeting, plus how the new Super Mario Brothers movie did at the weekend box office. That's all coming up in the Money Watch Report. You're watching News 3 Now at noon. Man City, a division of Renuity, the local service you deserve, now backed by unmatched national strength. We are Wisconsin's number one remodeler. And now we're looking for 50 homeowners who need new windows. Receive special savings on new Eco Sky windows featuring Sky Mirror technology. And with Mad City's price lock guarantee, once you receive a free design consultation, we'll lock your price in and guarantee it for one year. Be one of 50 homeowners who call now and receive free installation on a house full of new windows with no interest or no payments until 2025. Senior military discounts plus call during this program program and receive a free $50 Amazon gift card with your in-home estimate. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call with zip code and location to qualify 608-338-1616, 608-338-1616. There's nothing better than a great night's sleep on a new mattress from Steinhoffels. Tempur-Pedics are designed to make aches and pains a thing of the past by relieving pressure points and supporting the body as no other mattress can. Right now, you can get a Queen Tempur-Pedic mattress with an adjustable base for just $58 per month when you use Steinhoffel's special 72-month financing. Plus, get $300 in Steinhoffel's cash. Relax, it's Steinhoffel's. We rented and rented and rented on the hopes of buying it someday. Bill and I not having any financial education at all. Coming in the first time and talking with Amanda was, all right, well, what's the track? What do you do? She taught us how to correctly do things financially and how to build our credit, how to purchase our home. When you ask for advice and then you follow advice on it, you can really get where you want to go. The Paco Credit Union truly helped me believe in myself again. In need of home repairs? From stairs and railings to roofing and plumbing, Habitat Dane County works alongside families to ensure safe, stable housing for years to come. Qualifications are based on income, need, and willingness to partner. Don't delay. Apply today. If your house was cold this winter, it's going to be hot this summer. And now's the time to get your home more energy efficient. It's National Insulation Month, and we're celebrating by giving you the savings of $2,000. And just in time before you get those big summer electric bills. Spring's booking quickly, so don't wait to insulate. Call now and save up to $2,000 during National Insulation Month. USA Insulation. Today, the International Monetary Fund and World Bank spring meetings kick off, bringing together finance ministers, central banks, and other leaders from around the globe. Topics on the agenda include climate change, the war in Ukraine, and the effects of the COVID pandemic. The IMF will release its newest world economic outlook later this week. The Super Mario Brothers movie had a mega opening, grossing over $200 million at the box office domestically and an estimated $377 million worldwide this weekend. That shatters the previous worldwide record for an animated film opening held by Frozen 2, which made over $350 million in its opening. The film, which is based on the popular Nintendo game, also surpassed Marvel's Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania to become the biggest global box office opening of the year so far. And several headlines out of Tesla over the weekend. Sunday, the company announced it will build a new factory in Shanghai to produce 10,000 megapack energy batteries per year. Well, back in the U.S., a class action lawsuit has been filed in California by Tesla owners who claim the company's employees internally shared private and embarrassing videos from their vehicle's cameras without their consent. And that comes as federal regulators say they're probing a North Carolina crash after a teenager was hit and injured when a Tesla that may have been operating under a partially automated driving system failed to stop for a school bus last month. That's your CBS News Money Watch report. For more, log on to CBSMoneyWatch.com. At the CBS Broadcast Center, I'm Wendy Gillette.
Let's check Wall Street at the noon hour. The Dow Industrials up 45 points. The NASDAQ, though, down 69. The S&P 500 off 23. Our call for action volunteers are in the building taking your consumer complaints and taking action on your behalf. Volunteers are here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so you can call for action right now at 608-270-2833 or submit a claim anytime at channel3000.com slash call for action. Coming up, Pam has today's egg prices and Greg has the latest forecast. And today on Live Before, a look back in history. 25 years ago today, the Good Friday Peace Agreement was signed by Britain and Ireland, ending decades of conflict. Damage to ill-fitting windows allow air to enter your home, resulting in higher energy bills. So call Mad City Windows for new Eco Sky windows, 114% more airtight than the average window for a difference our customers can feel. Insulating and keeping the home, you know, cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter, um, just looking nice. And with our price lock guarantee, we'll lock your price in for one year. Plus, we're looking for 50 homeowners who need new windows. The first 50 homeowners who call now will receive free installation, including no interest and no payments till 2025. Senior military discounts. Plus, if you call right now, I have a nice gift for you. $50 Amazon gift card with estimate. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call with zip code and location to qualify. 608-338-1616. 608-338-1616. Do you suffer with pain, numbness, and tingling in the hands or feet? Commonly diagnosed as peripheral neuropathy, are you taking drugs such as Lyrica or Gabapentin that have serious side effects and often do not relieve your symptoms? Your doctor has told you you may just have to live with the pain. Peripheral neuropathy is a result of damage to the nerves, often causing burning, weakness, pain, numbness, tingling, and the most debilitating balance problems. Our facility uses multiple therapeutic methods to help give you relief from neuropathy symptoms with no injections and no drugs. You may start seeing relief after only a few sessions. To determine if your neuropathy symptoms can be relieved, we will do a consultation to evaluate the extent of your condition. Call us today to schedule your neuropathy consultation to find out if you're a candidate for our therapy. Call today. Local workplaces are going to the dogs. He started his work career in 2022. And it just might be good for business. Everybody loves her. Arman Rahman shares how businesses are embracing a new trend. A job's best friend. Thursday on News 3 Now at 6. It's a sure sign of spring. The terrace chairs make their return to the union. John Spryder is live with a look at the schedule of fun for you and your family. Yeah, it looks like the warmer weather is here to stay for now, but for how long? Join us tomorrow morning between 4.30 and 7. The Farm Report is sponsored by Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Donkey from the Midwest Farm Report as the temperatures get into the 70s. We're waiting for Pam to, uh, to show up. She went up to the uh, farmstead over the weekend. We'd like to find out what the conditions were up in the, the Green Bay area. I think it was supposed to snow up there. It's not... Incorrect. Yeah, yeah, it did. It, the west of it, Wausau had like a couple inches. Wausau of snow. had a couple inches of snow, so we're not done yet. <laughs> Should we uh, get back to Pam after weather? Wait a minute. All right, Pam is ready. There she is. Yeah. The Talking to too many people today, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, you know, half of it is everybody collaborating about what we did over the weekend with the weather that was finally not uh, aching to... Uh, be outside in. It was pretty nice. And like you said, I was up at the farm this weekend. The water is running. Uh, that Green Bay area and obviously farther north piles of snow that were still around yesterday, but this weather is going to change all of that, that's for sure. That also is going to make sure uh, make farmers anxious to try to get out there and get started as far as uh, spring field work is concerned. Uh, we already are getting reports that they're planting potatoes in central Wisconsin. That central sands area has a tendency to dry out faster, obviously, than a lot of southern Wisconsin. So even I'm sure some gardeners have probably already put spuds in the ground. That's uh, right on time. So they'll get a good jump start on things. Uh, as far as the rest of us, though, maybe take a minute before some of that water is uh, through the soil profile. So um, spread manure, 
taken care of, starting to bring the equipment out, and I'll start to uh, watch your road safety too. That's the other issue. I see a lot of motorcycles that are out, bicyclists. Just please be careful when it comes to all those fun springtime activities. It's a fun activity, that is for sure. We're talking about our Dane County Breakfast on the Farm. It's going to be just outside of Verona this year. And one of the young ladies that I'm going to get a chance to introduce you to is Aubrey Schlimgen from Marshall. She's been named the Dane County Fairest of the Fair. We'll introduce her on stage during the Dane County Breakfast on the Farm and officially uh, crown her. Now remember, the Fairest of the Fair is every county fair can have one of those. Basically the ambassador that welcomes the general public in uh, so that they know what they can enjoy and gets a chance to familiarize them with the uh, surroundings of every fair. And then in January of 2024, they're all coming together in uh, Wisconsin Dells for the Fairest of the Fair competition. All righty. Dairy markets today in Chicago. Yikes! Barrel cheese drops a full nine cents today. That's going to take my dairy farmer's breath away. We're down to $1.63. 40 pound black cheese, though, was up two and a half at 185 and a half. Double A butter, three and a quarter cents higher at 235 a pound. I promise I will try to curtail my pre TV <laughs> conversations in the hallway <laughs> so I don't leave you hanging. We're just here. We'll wait for you. Well, I appreciate that. Yeah, honestly, it, I, we're, everybody's a chatty Cathy today over here at the Radio Ranch. It so must be the weather. I got caught up. Everybody's, it, feeling, I think it is. everybody's feeling good. Yes, All right, Jim. Have a good day. And here's Greg with that forecast. Yeah, definitely going to be a nice week. And like she mentioned, all the snow up to the north actually is feeding really the two main rivers that we're watching in Wisconsin and eventually the Mississippi, too. And right now there's... As you saw, the observed gauges, most of the other rivers and creeks down here are pretty much staying within banks right now. But like I said, two warnings to watch out for right now. It's still the flood warning and portage for moderate. They're kind of holding steady at that level. And then they just issued one for the Castle Rock. That'll be for probably the next five to six days as more water inflates. So all along the Wisconsin, all the way down to Muscaday, which is just an action stage in the Mississippi towards Prairie du Chien. It's going to run high. You might even see some flooding going on, just low-level life type flooding. But that will be a problem here probably for the next week and a half until all that snow upstream melts. Today, we finally should hit that 70, and we might even get an 80, which will be ahead of schedule here this week, too. So like I said, through this week, really just dry and warm. Uh, record level potentially Wednesday or Thursday, just depends on when we hit it. And then cooler as we go towards the weekend, it'll be more 60s and 50s as we get there um, overall. But then Saturday and Sunday is the one thing that we're watching. Showers and thunderstorms return. Showers on Sunday, I dare say... Sunday night could be kind of chilly, maybe a little mixed with that. We'll see. I don't want to say the S word, but uh, we could see that. And obviously, it's just going to be chilly 50s, which is kind of where we should be around 60 this time of year. The system that eventually will get here, it's way out to the Pacific Northwest. And eventually, over time, it will drift southeastward and then eventually reappear as we get towards the Midwest, probably by Saturday morning to the west. And that's why we're going to see that come through, change the pattern. But until then, it should be fairly warm and dry through the whole next uh, through Friday. For today, 70 degrees will probably get up most areas, low 70s today, southwest wind light. We'll see a few passing high clouds once again Tuesday as you wake up, but it'll still be fairly warm. Low 50s, upper 40s, kind of similar to what we saw today. A few more clouds Tuesday. We'll get a little bit bump in the temperatures, low to mid 70s, probably more mid 70s there. And then really once we get past Tuesday night, the winds start picking out of the south coming into Wednesday. You'll wake up warm temperatures already near 60. And then by the afternoon hours is when we could reach a lot of the areas, get close to 80 with that southwest wind. So that's what we're watching for right now is two record level days coming potentially Wednesday or Thursday. Wednesday, the date goes back to 1899. I think that is 79, so that is a potential one. Unfortunately, I think Thursday is like the mid-80s, so I don't see that one. But notice those overnight lows, mid-upper 50s. That could be record high low temperatures for that time of year. And then we get the thunderstorms coming back in, and then it does cool down. Quite chilly, actually, for Sunday and Monday, and then potentially returning back to where we should be. Um, the other thing to note is with these two days, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, southwest winds, low relative humidity. We see relative humidity down into the 40s, low 50s percent, so they're... There could be some fire weather concerns as you go out to Iowa, but something to keep in mind of, it's going to dry out pretty quickly. So any of that uh, dormant uh, brush out there could burn quite easily if it sets a spark. So a snow up north has to melt yet. Yes. So the Wisconsin, Mississippi, probably for the next probably week, two weeks, you're going to deal with some probably at least minor type flooding along it. All right, great. Thank you. Well, Howard's in the Mystery Food Test Kitchen now whipping up a dessert featuring graham crackers. Over the years, we've used graham crackers in all kinds of recipes. You know, we've crushed them and mixed them with melted butter to create to die for a crust for everything from cheesecakes to homemade pies. And everyone knows that if you sandwich a chocolate bar and a toasted marshmallow between a couple of them, 
you end up with ooey gooey s'mores. But today, I want to show you how to make an easy as can be recipe that turns graham cracker crumbs into a cake that's amazing. We begin by creaming some butter and sugar. Once that comes together, we mix in a good amount of graham cracker crumbs, some eggs, baking powder, milk, and a bit of vanilla. Now, after stirring in some coconut and pecans, we spoon this into a baking dish. Over that goes a pineapple glaze and into the oven it goes to bake. After it cools, get ready for a cake that's packed with flavor, thanks to the graham crackers. And boy, is it ever moist. To get your hands on our graham cracker cake recipe, all you have to do is check out our website. You know, I think you'll really be missing out if you don't try this one. Mm -hmm. I'm Howard with Kelly in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where today we found a sweet change of pace way mm -hmm. for you to say, ooh, it's so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ahead of noon, Lisa Briggs from the Bruce Company is here answering your plant and garden questions. The number to call 608-270-9933. We'll get your calls right after this. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. It's a brand new day. Don't let junk get in the way. All you have to do is point. <laughs> and you'll be back to your old self again. <laughs> yeah! Call 1-800-GOT-JUNK. Or visit 1-800-GOT-JUNK.COM. If cleaning the windows means dragging out the ladder and risking a fall, then don't do that anymore. Pick up the phone, call Mad City Windows. Our Eco Sky windows tilt in for safe and easy cleaning from inside your home. Plus, with layers of low E, they have a higher energy rating than any other window on the market. And be sure to ask about the tax credit on new Energy Star rated windows. Ask about our price lock guarantee, but don't wait to call. We're looking for 50 homeowners right now who need new windows. 50 homeowners who call now will receive free installation on a house full of new windows. Plus, take advantage of no interest and no payments till 2025. Senior military discounts. Last chance to call in during this program to get the free $50 Amazon gift card with your in-home estimate. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call with zip code and location to qualify. 608 3 3861616 The right ones with the good stuff Carl F. Stocks and Sons Parts, sales and service An investment you'll enjoy Make life easier Experience the new Holland Compact Tractor that's best for you Six year powertrain warranty Available today at Carl F. Stotts and Sons Superior service since 1930. CarlFStotts.com. Carl I set a goal to get in better shape, but working on my feet for hours made me say no to exercise. Then I discovered good feet supports could reduce the stress to my feet, knees, and back. So now I say yes to walking more, moving more, exercising more. So am I burning fat and getting healthy? Well. <laughs> With 9,900 steps today, that's a yes. I'm Rachel, and this is my Good Feet story. Come into a Good Feet store. Thanks to the Good Feet store. It's a brand new day. Don't let junk get in the way. All you have to do is point. <laughs> and you'll be back to your old self again. <laughs> yeah! Call 1-800-GOT-JUNK or visit 1-800-GOT-JUNK.COM. Lisa Briggs from the Bruce Company here, taking your plant and garden questions, 608-270-9933. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. You brought a begonia along? I brought a begonia. We were pretty decimated after Easter. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of flowering plants went out the door over the weekend. But we're going to get restocked tomorrow, and we have nursery stock coming in this oh. week. Trees and shrubs. We're getting, super excited. Getting to be that time. It is getting to be that time. Let's go to Lisa from Madison for our first caller. Hi, Lisa. What's your question? Hi, I have a Macintosh tree. I was wondering if you know how I could tell the difference between a wet wood rot or a phytophthora rot. Phytophthora? <laughs> yeah, between the two. 
Not that I can explain over the phone, but I would say that I would go to UW Extension Publications. You can Google that. UW Extension Publications. And they have an excellent publication um, called Growing Apples in Wisconsin that they update all the time. And there's great information in there about all the things that apple trees are susceptible to and what you can do about it. That's a great okay. resource. It is a fabulous thank you. resource. All right, Lisa, thank you for calling. Let's go now to Carol in Baraboo. Hi, Carol, what's your question? Hi there. I was wondering if you could tell me again what we could use to keep the bunny rabbits out from around the fence and from into the garden. Well, are you talking about like a vegetable garden or a perennial border? Well, it's going to be a vegetable garden. Okay. And then I have a, a fenced-in backyard that I'm trying to keep them out. Okay. And I'm not sure how. So what I would use is a scent repellent around the edge of your property, along the base of the fence, to keep them, to try to keep them from coming into your yard. And there are a number of products on the market. I like Shake Away. It's freeze-dried predator urine. It's really easy to apply and not stinky. You might, though, because um, veg is so, so attractive to them, you might need to put some kind of fencing around your bed, your garden beds themselves as an extra protection. Try the, um, the, bear, the scent repellent first, and if that doesn't work, then you'll have to step up. Okay. Good okay. luck. Okay. Thank, thank you. There's a lot of rabbits around. Yes. Uh, Pat in Beaver Dam. Go ahead, Pat. What's your question? Hi, um, I was wondering if it's too late to um, spray for the grass to be out of my asparagus bed. If they haven't come up yet, you can yeah. do that. If okay. they have come up, then there's a, there's an alternate. I don't remember the name of the product off the top of my head, but there are two things you can use. If, if they haven't come up, you, you can use just like a grass be gone product. But once the asparagus, asparagus are up, you have to use, it's by... Um, it's not by Fertilone, but it's a particular product that will that is safe to use for the asparagus since you're going to harvest them so early. Okay. Come into the okay. store. We'll help you out. All right. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. Let's go to Judy in Rock Springs. Hi, Judy. What's your question? Yeah, I was just wondering when it is safe to, like, rake your yard and put down mulch, new mulch? I'm going to put down, I'm stocking up on bags of mulch this week for my garden beds. I did a little bit of raking yesterday, and I'm going to top dress my, my garden beds now. Um, as far as lawn is concerned, go ahead and get any leaves off your lawn and put them somewhere. And then in your garden beds, just be kind of gentle with it so you, that you don't damage any of your plants. And that if you have some um, uh, insect nests in there for pollinators that you won't disturb them too much. And when is that safe to do then? You can do that now. Just oh, be okay. careful. Just be gentle with it. As long as it's dry enough. As long as it's Thank dry you. enough, yeah, yeah, definitely. All right, good luck. Have fun mulching. All right, if you're on the line, say that Lisa will talk to you off the air. Good to see you. Good to see you too. We'll see you on the 4 o'clock on Wednesday. I, I will, yeah. S save your questions for that too. Yeah. All right. Greg has one final check of the forecast. Yeah, we should have great weather this afternoon. Many uh, sunshine with the clouds actually clearing out. So if you're out there starting the outdoor dining time, which is actually starting to kick up, should be around 7 this afternoon with southwest winds. Still being in the 60s all the way probably through about 10 p.m. this afternoon. So still fantastic weather. And then it gets better. We could hit 80 on both of those days. And eventually rain comes back this weekend. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you back here at 4 o'clock. In the meantime, have a great afternoon.